Hey, Drunken Master Paul here, and today I'm answering a letter from one of my biggest fans. This is from Crispy from South of the Border, and she writes, Hey DMP, why don't you make more drinks about tequila, you crazy bastard? That's it. Okay. Sounds great to me, Crispy. In fact, I'm going to do a DMP take on the classic tequila sunrise, but I'm going to call it a tequila sunset. One, two, three, four. Drunken Master Paul. Okay, Crispy, for you, here's a drink I'm calling a tequila sunset. Now, of course, most people know what a tequila sunrise is, which is uh, orange juice, tequila, and grenadine. It's uh, kind of the gateway drink when you first start drinking in college or in high school or grade school, and it's pretty darn tasty. And then you wake up somewhere that you don't recognize next to somebody who looked really, really good about 15 hours ago, and uh, you can't remember where you left your legs. Here's how I think of tequila, especially tequila shots. That first shot of tequila is not there to get you drunk. That first shot is to make the next 10 a good idea. It's kind of like in those old time war movies, with the battlefields boom, 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 thing going on, you got a bunch of soldiers running up and there's a barbed wire fence, and that one guy throws himself on the barbed wire so his buddies can get through. Yep, that's what that first shot of tequila's job is. Lay down the barbed wire and let those guys through. <laughs> Bastard. So what goes into a tequila sunset? Well, we're doing a take on the tequila sunrise, so we have three ingredients really, a grenadine, orange, and tequila. So for the tequila, we're gonna use Patron Silver because Crispy is a huge Patron fan, that's why this is a Patron bar, and if I use anything but Patron, Crispy will get all stabby, 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 and we don't want that. So, some Silver Patron. Now for the orange part, we're gonna use Grand Marnier. Now you can use Cointreau as well if you like. I happen to have Grand Marnier. And so that's going to be the orange component. And then for the grenadine, we're going to use grenadine. Yay! Because there's not really a replacement for grenadine now, is there? However, I'm going to use some homemade grenadine. Um, I should probably do a video on how to do that at some point. Okay, now to make your own homemade grenadine is pretty easy actually. You just need a half a cup of sugar, a half a lemon, your handy dandy reamer, I named mine Marty, and of course some pomegranate juice. Now I'm using just pomegranate because it's pure juice with no other garbage in there. 32 ounces, you pour right into a big old saucepan, add your sugar, then ream in that fresh lemon juice. Oh yeah. Use a strainer to pick out any seeds that dropped in. Give it a good stir, and then you kick on the heat to about medium high and let that simmer. It takes about an hour or so, and you let it cook down to about a cup and a half, and you have your own homemade tasty grenadine. Along with the main uh, components to this party, I also like to add some bitters. And what I'm going to use is some Bitterman's Burlesque Bitters. And uh, this is a spicy little tart that is sure to tantalize your taste buds, the one and only, not unlike crispy. So there's our ingredients, let's put this together. Okay, we're gonna make two versions of the tequila sunset because I like doing that. Um, we're gonna make the martini version and it can be built as a shot as well. Right, let's do the martini version. Of course, we need a glass for that. I'm gonna use my curvy, fancy Star Trekian uh, martini glass for that. Then we add the grenadine and this, surprise, surprise, can be a layered cocktail because I just like doing those. So just. The bottom is fine. Uh, maybe, oh, three quarters of an inch up the glass. You don't need much of this, it's very strong. Now, the next layer is gonna be the orange part of our tequila sunset. And for that, we're gonna need the Grand Marnier. And a pori thing. Where's my pori thing? I need my pori thing. So for the orange part, we're gonna need our Grand Marnier. I'm gonna put a little pori tip in that. I don't really need, do I? No, I don't because I'm doing this on ice. Ah! Swat! Right! Getting on with the show here. Move that over there for now. We need our orange part next, and we need to cool that down too. So take our glass, get some ice in there, and add some Grand Marnier. We're gonna do about two shots in there. About that much is good. Yeah, just don't worry about it. 
And to the Grand Marnier, we're gonna add a few drops of the burlesque bitters. There we go. That's an optional step. You don't have to add the bitters if you don't want to. I like them. And we're gonna give that a stir. Pull that down. There we go, should do it. And now we layer this on top. Now you can use the not yet patented DMP um, cake frosting spatula that's been bent a little bit or just the back of the spoon should work too, but just be gentle. There we go. Nice thing about this phase is grenadine is very heavy and this Grand is fairly light. And so it layers really, really nicely. And now for the tequila portion of our program. Need some more ice. Boom. All right, let's do... Two shots of tequila. We may not use all of it, but we will. Punk. Give that a stir. Same drill. Float that on top. Now this is gonna be a little more delicate than the first one because these are very close in, uh, in weight. Making a mess. And there it is, a tequila sunset. Now you can't tell from way over there um, how this layering looks, but up close it looked really cool. Here's a better shot of the layers. You've got the grenadine, then the Grand Marnier, and then the Patron on top. So very distinct triple layers there. Same three flavors as a tequila sunrise, but this is a tequila sunset because you have martinis in the evening. <laughs> So there's a martini, let's show you the shot. Ducky! Okay, for the shot, I'm gonna start with grenadine, the regular stuff, just to change it up. And the Grand Marnier. Little Grand Marnier water slide action. Little drop of the bitters. And then a float of the Patron. There's a shot version, and you can still see the layers. Check it out. And as you can see, you can still really see those three layers. And there you have it, the Tequila Sun Set. It's a DMP take on the Tequila Sun Rise, which has orange juice in it, which is good for breakfast. And this has Grand Marnier in it, which is good for the evening and time. Hence, the sunset versus sunrise. You wouldn't want to have this with eggs or anything. If you look at it, it looks like a sunset. It's like, you know, kind of light on top and then it gets orangey, 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 and then, you know, with a red at the bottom. So it looks like a sunset, and I think it's kind of cool. Now, there's a couple ways to drink this. I like to just kind of sip it off the top, so I get the Patron with a little bit of the Grand Marnier, then I get more Grand Marnier, and then I get the Grenadine at the bottom. Um, but you can also give it a little, little stir, like this, and kind of get that all mixed together a little bit, get things going. That looks even more like a sunset, ha! Huh? Check that out. So of course with the shooter version, it's it's a shot, so you don't need to mix it up, you just go. <laughs> That's so good. Uh, with the store-bought grenadine, it's a, a little sweeter um, on, the, on the end on that finish, which is okay. I prefer the homemade, but you know, the other grenadine's just fine, you can use that. So there you go, Crispy, for you, the Tequila Sunset. Patron, Grand Marnier, homemade grenadine, a little bit of bitters, mm. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thank God there was no internet around when I was growing up drinking tequila with my friends because I would have been totally boned and they would have made a lot of money off of me on YouTube. Cheers.
Oh, balls itch. I wasn't taping.